Hello, boys and girls. Our library book today is Franklin in the Dark by Paulette Burgess and Brenda Clark. A lot of you know this little creature, don't you? Franklin could slide down a riverbank all by himself. He could count forwards and backwards. He could even zip zippers and button buttons. But Franklin was afraid of small, dark places. And that was a problem because Franklin was a turtle. He was afraid of crawling into his small, dark shell. And so Franklin the turtle dragged his shell behind him. And look at him pulling that shell. Every night, Franklin's mother would take a flashlight and shine it into his shell. See, she would say, there's nothing to be afraid of. She always said that. She wasn't afraid of anything, but Franklin was sure that creepy things, slippery things, and monsters lived inside his small, dark shell. So there they are, and there's the shell. So Franklin went looking for help. He walked until he met a duck. Excuse me, duck. I'm afraid of small, dark places, and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, quacked the duck. You see, I'm afraid of very deep water. Sometimes, when nobody is watching, I wear my water wings. Would my water wings help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of water. And there's the duck with his water wings. And Franklin's not happy. <clears throat> so Franklin walked and walked until he met a lion. Excuse me, lion. I'm afraid of small dark places and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, roared the lion. You see, I'm afraid of great loud noises. Sometimes, when nobody is looking, I wear my earmuffs. Would my earmuffs help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of great loud noises. There's the lion with his earmuffs. Most people are afraid of something. It's just special to each person. <clears throat> so Franklin walked and walked and walked until he met a bird. Excuse me, bird. I'm afraid of small dark places and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Well, maybe, chirped the bird. I'm afraid of flying so high that I get dizzy and fall to the ground. Sometimes, when nobody is looking, I pull my parachute. Would my parachute help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of flying high and getting dizzy. And there's the little bird with his parachute. That parachute looks a little bit like the one we use at school and gym sometimes. <clears throat> so Franklin walked and walked and walked and walked until he met a polar bear. Excuse me, polar bear. I'm afraid of small, dark places, and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, growled the bear. You see, I'm afraid of freezing on icy cold nights. Sometimes, when nobody is looking, 
I wear my snowsuit to bed. Would my snowsuit help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of freezing on icy cold nights. And there's this little bear's snowsuit. <clears throat> Franklin was tired and hungry. He walked and walked and walked until he met his mother. Oh, Franklin, I was so afraid you were lost. You were afraid? I didn't know mothers were ever afraid, said Franklin. So now he's found out that even his mama's afraid sometimes. I'm afraid of escalators. They make me really scared. Well, did you find some help, she asked. No, I met a duck who was afraid of deep water. Hmm, she said. <clears throat> then I met a lion who was afraid of great loud noises. Um, she said. And then I met a bird who was afraid of falling and a polar bear who was afraid of freezing. Oh, she said, they were all afraid of something. Hmm, said Franklin. It was getting late. Franklin was very tired and very hungry. They walked and walked until they were home. Franklin's mother gave him a cold supper and a warm hug, and then she sent him off to bed. Good night, dear, she said. Well, Franklin knew what he had to do. He crawled right inside his, his small dark shell. He was sure he saw creepy things, slippery things, and a monster, but he said a brave good night. And then when nobody was looking, Franklin the turtle turned on his night light. So he found a way to get over being afraid, didn't he? And so, boys and girls, when we're afraid of things, we just have to think of other things to do. Okay, I'll see you in another storybook.